Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to add sound when you press the print screen button. Pretty cool because it doesn't exist in Windows as an option until now. There's two ways to do it. I'm going to try and explain to you both at the same time just to try and get it done easier. So we can do it with registry files or you can manually edit the registry. So you'll click this link right here and look up here for the little I. You can click on that and jump through to this page to download the files. Once you have them, you'll extract them. And here's what you need to know. Print screen sound, pick a sound means you're gonna pick your own sound. Those of you who don't wanna mess around, I have print screen sound, notify wave.reg. So pick the correct one that you want if you're gonna use the registry because it seems like one doesn't work too well with the other. And we'll show you the registry entry. So here's what happens. When you use our registry files, it goes to this registry key right here, which again, you can see right here. And what it does is it adds a new D word called snapshot. That's one of these right here, not D word, key right here. So it'll say snapshot. So let's show you what I'd like to do is let's play around with pick a sound or no, let's play around with notify. See if you like it. So double click that, click run, click yes, click yes. And as always click okay. Let's jump over to the registry. There's your snapshot key. The difference between this and the other one is there's your sound picked out for you. So let's press print screen. There you go. So if you don't mind that sound, when you press print screen, you're cool. Otherwise, we want to go into sound. So copy and paste this code right here, which is the easiest way to get to it. Press the Windows key plus R, control V to paste that in. Press enter, or go ahead and click on OK. There's your sounds. Now, here's the sound that was never here before. Just keep going alphabetical right there. That's the sound you heard. And now you can change it to anything you want. What's this sound? Let's try that one. Okay, that's not bad. Try it now. There you go. So that's kind of neat. Now let's go to the registry. Let's hit refresh. Let's see if it, yes it does. That's F5 to refresh. And there's the new speech on that wave. Now, similarly, I hate that word. That's how you want to get rid of it. Just delete the key or change the sound to nothing. That works the same way. So again, now with a registry, if you do pick a sound, which isn't really much different, you can always go change the sound as you just saw. And we go to the registry and you can see that snapshot is back, but there are no folders underneath it storing the key or the sound. So Windows key plus R, let's jump right back to that right there. Go down to snapshot right there and just like we just did a minute ago oh that's a little overkill give me something simple here oh god not an alarm Ooh, it's gonna take me longer to pick a ding 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 <laughs> it's annoying so now we hit the print screen button if you can hear that and once again you can always go and change the sound so Keep in mind that covers everything you need to know on the registry, where to find it, how to jump to sound, and of course, as I mentioned, you have your choice. Let me refresh that so you can see that again. That's right, snapshot, delete. You can delete it or there's no harm to your registry. You can actually just come back down into snapshot, whoop, and just change to none and there's really no harm whatsoever so there you go registry files registry editor either one's pretty easy i just thought some people would appreciate the notify wave.reg just gets the job done for you and again remember pick a sound doesn't change too much it lets you do whatever you want and even if you use a notify wave you could change the sound later so there's not much of a difference there just trying to simplify it a little bit for you you know the drill guys i hope bottom right corner major geeks logo pops up if we helped you out click subscribe i feel like i have more to say but I don't think I do. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.